Hey everyone, welcome to Neil Talk. My name's Neil, and it's time to talk Fallout. And I am fully hooked on this show. It's been such a fun ride so far. I love everything about the production of the show. The look, the vibe, the 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 game is captured so well on screen. But what's really got me going now is the stories living up to it. You you could have nailed the look, you could have nailed the vibe, but if the story wasn't there, it would be a um it would be a shallow gratification instead it's it's a thorough and it's deep and i'm i especially after last episode i'm so thoroughly intrigued by the mystery behind the three vaults of 31 32 and 33 that i can't wait to learn more about the goings on what did the f- folks in 32 learn about what's in 31 why were they trying to cut in there why did they revolt against their own management and kill one another two years ago what what happened and and why is 31 exporting these future overseers to the other two vaults what great experiment is being run between these three facilities uh it's it's just super curious i can't wait to find out more i'm sure it's going to be horrific when we finally learn the truth and i this may be the episode that we do because lucy and maximus have stumbled upon another vault which may be 31 i think it is but we don't have confirmation of that yet so yeah what's what's going on in these vaults and is norman the one who's going to figure it all out what is uh, the ghoul up to what's cooper up to since we last saw him um when lucy left him with uh, the medicine he needs to to get himself better last we saw him he's just watching old uh, movies of himself as an actor in the in the pre-apocalypse world Will we get the head again? Uh, Tiberius escaped with the head, presumably taking it back to the Brotherhood of Steel. We need that head to to see Moldaver. What does Moldaver know about the vault, about Lucy's dad? Because he certainly figured out who she was. Everybody knows who Moldaver is. I can't wait to learn more about this this corner of the Fallout universe. It's so fun and intriguing. We've got great characters, but the, the story itself is what's really driving me right now. So let's get right into it, guys. Episode 6 of Fallout. We're in the best place in the world. We're in a vault. <laughs> oh. Hello there. Now how about we turn on some lights? <laughs> there, that's better. Vault four. Meet the Hawthorns. Now this Hawthorns. is Mr. Lloyd and Cassandra here, are both scientists. That's the medical. Specializing team. in the effects of radiation on human DNA. Eighty volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault Four. You all are heroes in real life. And now you can be a hero too by purchasing a residence in a Vault Tech vault today. And cut. That was a great take. You happy, fellas? Are you happy? You designed the T-45 power armor. I oversaw the, the rollout. You know, the design flaws were ridiculous, but they sure looked great. Those design flaws of yours cost a lot of good men and women their lives. <laughs> what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? It's not outselling them. It's not outsmarting them. It's outliving them. It's dying. The future of all humanity comes down to one word. You know what's that? Management. Death to management. Death to management. <laughs> there is a rap party. What up? For this, yes. we shake a few hands. It's at our house. <laughs> <laughs> so when did their marriage end? Because he's paying alimony in episode one. I'm sorry you can't come, buddy. I'm heading into enemy territory. The man and his dog. <laughs> Man, I love all of this. Bud Haskins. Bud Haskins, right. I only do it for close friends and beautiful women, but you two are already halfway there. No <laughs> way. I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever He's, ready to He start. is the voice of Mr. Handy Codsworth. Oh. You might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. <laughs> Here, I lost a movie over these ads. 
Radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot. Guess how much they paid me for that? Ten million? Nope. No, I got 186 free tax. My agent got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> what were they thinking? Every time I walk into my own house, my own boy saying, hello, sir, do you want to sit down? The future, my friend, is products. You're a product, I'm a product. The end of the world is a product. To the future. <laughs> wow. The commentary. I love it. Destroying a legitimate business. That's illegal around these parts. Says so. The government. <laughs> I loved. Oh man, the show makes me so happy. Okay, Vault Four. Is this what we've stumbled across? Is this where Lucy and the Maximus are? Yeah. Your friend is going to have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. You're not fine. I gotta admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to the surface. I was born on the surface. Oh, wow. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. So were they still doing the experiment in Vault 4 when the bombs fell? Are these the descendants of those five-year volunteers plus outsiders? You smell good. What? You want to have sex? <laughs> you mean use my cock? Yeah. For some guys, you know, when they make it move, it gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. Yeah. And they say it could happen to anybody, but it's still, it's... It's weird. It's gross. What had they been... You know, that's completely normal. It happens all the time. What are they being told in the BOS? I'm a knight. We're not supposed to. Okie dokie. 604. That's Vancouver's area code. They are test subjects. <laughs> ah. Okay, so they've cleared quarantine, presumably. We shouldn't be wasting time down here. Is that Blamco mac and cheese? I think these people are trying to trap us here. No, they're not. This is a cult. <laughs> Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Hey guys. Okay. Just welcome to Vault 4. Stay out of level 12. We prefer you not go there. Level 12. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> what is going on in Vault 4? Second nose. One eye. Lots of people have one eye. Well. Do they? Yeah. Okay. This was in the middle. It's a little to the left. <laughs> so weird. What's going on? It doesn't get any better than this. You ever think about working somewhere else? And what would I do? Look pretty and help me raise chickens. <laughs> what does mom know? But Askins. He licensed them from Rob Coates. But Askins. But Askins. Yeah. Trust me. I know. They're saying that name so much, it's really, it's going to matter. I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. Yeah, so she knows there's bad vaults. She knows she's learned the truth. Trust me. She knows they're using the vaults for experiments. Vault takes the fucking devil, man. My wife works here. I like Barb, okay? So the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. But they can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. So vault -Tec has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. <laughs> the cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Oh, come on. <laughs> you should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. Well, well you, you can see where the divorce comes. He, he learns what she does and they fight about why whether it's worth it or not. <laughs> what? You know, no dogs in the vaults. Says who? It's an avoidable inefficiency. Uh, I'm serious. Who makes the rules? What if I don't want to wear a blue jumpsuit? What if I want to wear a green one? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. Mm -hmm. When the bombs drop, a two-hour driving going to cut it. So, yes, 
There will be no dogs in the vault, and no, none of it is ideal. But I have worked hard to make sure we go into a special vault for management, where we will oversee all Death of the other vaults. to management. Is that Vault 4 or is that Vault 31? Is Betty a descendant? I'm actually from a vault. So you are Goosey McLean. Oh, no, it's Lucy. <laughs> You're from here? Five generations. I'm proud of it. Huh. A little bit of inbreeding. <laughs> People here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. You have to respect their traditions and tolerate them. It's awful. What's on level 12 and why can't we go there? I you should go now. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. <laughs> yeah. We need a fusion core. Where do you guys get your power from? Yeah, it's missing a fusion core too. No. Oh, it's just the light. It's in there. I see you found our fusion core. How are we adjusting to light down here? Does it matter? <laughs> I'm leaving soon. Are you? Aren't I? How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. One of us. One of us. And when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? Wow. Can't even get the concept. <laughs> Everybody's smiley. Makes him so weirded out. I love it. Wow. From Birdie and your friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to Vault Tech. What is this? <laughs> Twenty two seventy seven. That was the same year as the famine, and it's exactly two hundred years after the. The original bombs. Huh. Wow. What's going on? It's a surface dweller tradition. It can get a little rambunctious on my taste. You're welcome to come. Sure. What what is it? The government. Okay. This son bitch right here. Used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Or maybe you're still looking for her. His daughter? Now what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman. Name of Moldava. They call her the Flame Mother. You know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. Yep. Are you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. God damn it. Why? Oh, Moldaver's wanted. Do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. That's not how I remember her at all. Oh. Yeah, well, how do you remember her? Is she a ghoul too? A really well-preserved one? Oh, what an awesome door. Oh, they all take off their pit boys. Okay. So these are all old surface dwellers. What's it all about? And why are they intercutting these two reveals so purposely? One of us. One of us. So curious. Oh. Are we all getting naked? Yeah, we are. Man, Lucy's just a... A going along with it kind of girl. Flame mother, we remember. Flame mother. 
That's Moldaver. We bring back those taken from us by covering ourselves in their ashes. I think there's somebody you should be. Oh, Flame Mother, you will be our salvation. Mr. Howard? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what we've been building towards. The Moldaver. The flame of mother. We need a talk. Yes. <laughs> you were right about this place. No. <laughs> you wanna make my cock explode now? <laughs> Sorry. Intercourse? No, we need to leave. Right now. This must all seem really nice compared to the the shoot show that's up there. <laughs> Welcome to the shoot show. But this isn't it. They gave me a robe. I know. And slippers. <laughs> These people are hiding something from us. Level 12. Okay, it's the highest or lowest level. It's at the very bottom, presumably? Okay, we were going up. I think. What does it mean? So is this the vault? Oh. There's a gulper, a dead gulper. There's faces in jars. What experiments are we doing here? She's birthing fish? Are they baby gulpers? The gulpers definitely had human characteristics. The hands were human-like. The fingers in the mouth. What are we making? Oh, man. Are these cryopods? Because now we're getting very Fallout 4. Uh-oh. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Specimen control unit. <laughs> Lucy can fight. You people are crazy. Your entire culture is insane. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. <laughs> oh, Maximus is such a frustrating character. <laughs> oh god this this show is just not disappointing you know there's a mystery you know there's something weird going on we haven't even furthered our knowledge of what's going on in 31 32 33 we've discovered a, an entirely new vault vault 4 where there's a whole new level of weirdness going on and we're also learning a lot more about cooper's past and his wife and what she knew, and what her plans for the family were, and, oh, man. Okay, storyline one, the past. Cooper learns um, about the, 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 the communist resistance in L.A., and his, and his uh, actor friend takes him to a meeting. We learn more about vault Tech first. We learn that it's in their financial best interest for the war to happen. If the war, if, if the war doesn't escalate, if peace talks happen, if if peace breaks out, no one buys a vault, and there's no money in it. Vault Tech wants the war to continue. Vault Tech wants that that nuclear uh, countdown to get as close to 11:59 as possible, so that everyone's freaking out and buying a buying a shelter. And Cooper's wife. She knows this. She also knows that not all shelters are equal. Not all vaults are equal. That there are good vaults, and therefore there must be bad, vault, bad vaults too. She wants to get the family into the vault that oversees all the vaults. The fact is, is she knows there are vaults where bad stuff is planned to happen. Because Vault Tech isn't going to stop making money once the war happens and everyone goes into their shelters. 
vault techs thinking long term. They're thinking four dimensions. They're thinking time. And they want to be making money while those vaults are in operation and when the world gets recolonized, repopulated. They're thinking about the future. And the way to make money while the vaults are in operation is running human experiments. Now, what those experiments include, who knows? We're getting a hint of it in Vault 4 right now. We're seeing footage of a woman giving birth to some type of creature that then immediately consumes her. We saw a dead gulper. We're, there's, there's definitely biological experiments being conducted on people. To what end? Who knows? But it's happening. This isn't just a, a result of a random mutation from radiation. This is human-caused mutations. We also learn that Moldaver is perhaps running this meeting back in 2077 in, in LA. So she's been around for a long, long time. She's a ghoul that hasn't decayed. Or she's somehow otherwise preserving herself. But isn't that fascinating? Um, yeah, wow. What, a, what an interesting reveal. And if Dad knew about her, like if, if there is a flame mother out there, it, and that's probably how she's known more commonly, the flame mother, not Moldaver. What does she represent? Did she run Shady Sands? What history is there? We learned a little bit more about the history of Shady Sands on the chalkboard there in the vault, in Vault 4, including the important date of 2277, which is 200 years after the, the bombs fell. And that was the end of Shady Sands. That was when Shady Sands was nuked. That's where Maximus was rescued from the fridge 20 years ago, well, 19 years ago. But that was the Great Famine. That, also, that, that was also the, the year that Lucy talked about the Great Plague of Vault 33. And I can't imagine it's coincidental that those two happened in the same year. They're somehow linked. The Great Plague of Vault 33 and the bombing of Shady Sands. What's that all about? Um, what is that history? What? So many questions. My question about Vault 4... We met the f when when Cooper was doing the ad for Vault Four. Well, for for Vault Tech in general, but at Vault Four, we met the family that was volunteering to stay in the vault for five years as a test, basically, uh, along with eighty other volunteers. So my question about they they were doing that in Vault Four based on how old Coop's daughter looks at that time, which is I, in other words the same as when the bombs went off. I'm going to assume that it was still all the volunteer families in the vault when the bombs dropped. And so this society is the descendants of those volunteers, plus they're letting in outsiders. But if I remember correctly, mom and dad that Cooper did the ad with were um, genetic engineers. So that would indicate perhaps why these experiments are happening on level 12. That's really interesting and curious and cool. But at some point, maybe from the very beginning, they've decided to let outsiders in. And those outsiders are maintaining their traditions, which include worshipping the Flame Mother, who is Moldaver. And they do that by smearing themselves with the ashes of their, lo their lost loved ones, and drinking the blood of who knows? Why are they so eager to have Lucy and Maximus stay? We saw them being quarantined in a in a room marked test subjects. I, pres I can only presume that they are test subjects in a greater sense, and that they will be used at some point in in more tests. If they aren't already being test subjects in some degree. It's it's all super fascinating and creepy and nefarious 
And I, I love the mystery of it. It's so much fun. But Vault Tech is evil, dudes. It's so evil. And, and and you have to think that that's what that's what Cooper's going to learn in the past. That's what's going to drive him apart from his his wife. What I am curious about, his wife has plans to get them into the vault that oversees the vaults. Was that Vault 4? Probably not. Vault 4 seemed like a an experiment, like a, a test vault. And would that be 31? Maybe, but is there a Vault 1 kicking around LA? Is that is that where mom wanted to take the family to, to protect them from a nuclear holocaust? I need to learn more about this 31, 32, 33 mystery as well. Uh, golly, it's so much fun. It's just so much fun. This show is more than I could have hoped for. It's so entertaining. Everything's a mess. Every faction is messed up in its own way. You know, it, it was really interesting, you know, when when Lucy gets uh, caught on level 12 at the end of this episode, um, you know, she's saying, you, you know, she's calling um, the residents of four freaks. You, you guys are crazy. And Birdie responds, I'm sure we'd think the same of you if we were in your your vault. And there's some truth to that. Every one of these vaults is messed up in its own way. 33 has got this culty, happy vibe going on. It's pretty benign, at least on the surface. But but it's, it's weird as well. Vault 4 is more um, blatantly nefarious. Um, but even it projects this, this aura of uh, happy, welcoming, at least on a surface level. But then, then we learn about the Brotherhood of Steel, and, and, and we're learning more about it just based on how Maximus is reacting to the, to the world. Sex is not only forbidden, but like very poorly understood. Violence is, is normal uh, to an insane degree. Pain is just sort of part of daily life. It's a messed up world. Funny how dropping nuclear bombs all over it messes things up and then and you know that's not even counting all the other like surface dwelling societies um but it makes me super curious about where moldaver is now what her group looks like what her community looks like what their plan was exactly with vault 33 back in episode one how long have they been sort of Two years ago, Vault 32 went to crap. When did Moldaver discover the vault was in a state worth entering? Somehow or other, she has Rose McLean's Pip Boy to do that. But the bigger question is, is she was in communication. She was telegramming with Lucy's dad back and forth, making arrangements for the triannual trade. How long were they based in Vault 32 and to what end? It didn't look like they were living in 32. It looked like 32 was left the way it was when things went to crap two years ago. So what was Moldaver's plan exactly? Was it just to get Dad? Was there more to it than that? Dad's originally from 31. What does... What does Moldaver know about 31? The residents of 32 found out about 31. We, there, we saw written on the wall. We know what's, what's in there. Um, it looked like they were trying to, to open it with welding torches and whatnot. Oh, man, I love this mystery so much. It's so much fun to, to ponder and question. I can't wait to find out what it's all about. I'm hoping it gets resolved this season. It would be very ballsy to leave that open, not knowing when you made this, that there would be a season two. Although I'm super grateful that there is a season two, because I feel like we're doing so much new world building now. The first couple of episodes was the show showing off how much of the existing world building they were willing to replicate and duplicate and evoke. But now we're, we're writing new story, at least to me. Now, I haven't played Fallout 1 or 2, I know the New California Republic and Shady Sands have a part in that. I honestly don't know whether it's in one or two, but they have a part in those early games. 
but I feel like there's more new world building happening that that's new to fans of the game as well, which is which is just awesome. Let's learn more. Let's tell more story. Let's go into further detail. And you know, so much fun. Yeah, I'm just digging this show so much. Uh, I'd love love to hear your guys' thoughts. Cannot wait for the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you find out the moment I drop my next reaction. And uh, until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers. No